everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my cup of tea and I'm so happy about this. Uh, it's not a fill your cup Friday, but it's cold and <laughs> it's cold and it's spring here in Buenos Aires. And spring's like that. Sometimes you just melt and other times you need a sweater, a good, good old thick sweater and a cup of tea. Oh, that's why I love winter and fall. Yeah. I know people like fall and they say, oh, fall is nice, but I truly prefer fall and winter over summer any day. Yeah. Sorry to disappoint you. Okay, moving on. So today I wanted to talk about narcissists and their attack. They attack you. That's how you feel. If you're human, you have responded and reacted and that's how they would, you know, get their supply. Especially if you're with a, with a covert narcissist, oh my, those are, mm, those are special. Those kinds of narcissists are whew, malevolent. What they want is to really hurt you. They take pleasure out of that and so see it as you want. You can think that that person has a disorder, personality disorder, Whatever it is, the reason, we don't care. It's hurting you. So whether that person is any kind of toxic person, any kind of toxicity there, we just need to just run, basically, with all your strength and velocity, hit the road and run the other way. You need to be compassionate with yourself and take care of yourself this time. And I know you were conditioned and you, you used to take care of others first and maybe you're still doing it if you're a parent like me and well, that's great because kids need that put them before you by all means but take care of yourself feel your cup Friday because you need to take care of yourself in order to be there for your kids and your kids want a happy healthy parent so never neglect your kids but put them first always I mean that's my motto <laughs> but take care of yourself whenever you can you know and so that's your responsibility and you need to do that and so one of the ways to take care of yourself is by not reacting not um, not biting into the the how do you say that in english when you're fishing the hook or whatever yeah don't do that Morder la carnada en castellano. <laughs> because when you do that they feed off of that and that only hurts you and so you know if you're a christian you may have heard and if you're not you may have heard also about uh, you know showing the other chick and being raised a Catholic, you know, I often had a hard time uh, standing by that because we're all human and that's a lot to carry, you know, not defend yourself, not, um, you know, not stand for what you believe, for, for whatever it is that you want to defend yourself. But in this case, it's necessary. Sometimes you will, you know, you will need that day when you want to just tell them everything. Those days will come, especially with um, highly aggressive narcissistic people and oh, and the, the passivity with which they are aggressive, that's ner like, like that's unbearable and then you explode and yeah, that's all they want. But whenever you can, still control yourself and don't react they say respond don't react give simple answers i know we're not like that because we're humans and we feel and we and we want justice and being the infp that i am i'm all for being genuine and doing whatever it is that you feel and so that's harder and also that's my myers briggs type personality type and so I made a video about that and there are some links there where you, where you can take the tests. I'm going to link the video below and on here. 
And so, um, so if you want to stand for whatever it is that you believe, it's hard to not react. So we need to respond and ooh, it takes a lot, but um, the grey rock technique to be a, a, a just sort of a rock. If you throw something to a rock, it doesn't do anything to a rock, you know, that's the idea behind that and just don't react. And I know it's hard and there will be some times when you just, okay, you know what, I'm going to tell you how it is, but then you feel awful because you're usually, if you're a good person, that's not who you are and that's not exactly what, how you want to treat people. And so the next day you won't feel that good. And so it's not worth it. There's nothing that you can gain from that apart from a good relief. So that's why I don't say, oh, apply the gray rock technique every time you interact with a narcissist. No, you know, we're human. And the last thing we need is to, to add one other thing to our stupid inner critic that beats us up on the daily. Try to not respond as long as possible and try to do that. But sometimes let your inner justice come up and defend yourself because that's what you need. But you want a warning, you won't feel better the next day. I mean, it'll be short-lived uh, because, you know, yeah, it's hard, especially if you're dealing with a person that is highly narcissistic and you're going through a divorce or you still have to deal with that person and, you know, they're, you're co-parenting and all that. Oh, that's hard. But I think that you will develop, develop this black belt status of awareness <laughs> that you will be able to overcome this and just learn to invest less emotionally in those during those interactions try not to meet them and uh, yeah reduce contact as much as possible just by email that would be perfect and not perfect because no contact fully is perfect but if you have to you have to you know communicate certain things so email is more than enough. So that's all I wanted to add today. I hope it was helpful in some way. So yeah, thank you so much for being here today and please subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you!